Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing a quick review of some document loaders that I've been using with Llama Index. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Llama Index is, it says right here on the documents, uh, that it provides a, a central interface to connect your LLMs, your large language models with external data, um, and provides like some neat ways to just kind of abstract away some of the nitty gritty stuff that you don't want to do. <clears throat> so I was pretty interested in Llama Hubs. Uh, this is their their thing, Llama Hub. Uh, they have a ton of document loaders uh, for different types. And what caught my eye was the uh, Twitter, the Discord, and I believe the uh, the PDF loader. I think there's other uh, projects like Langchain, which I also have been using, has a PDF loader. But I wanted to give Llama Index a try. So just to go over the stack really quick, uh, we are using uh, Streamlit, uh, Langchain for a base model and uh, Llama Index. Uh, so that's also another cool thing about Llama Index is that it lets you play very nicely with Langchain's uh, classes as well. So you can wrap some of these models that Langchain provides uh, with Llama Index. And just to go over a couple uh, couple pieces of the first document loader I tried, uh, this is the Twitter one. Uh, essentially, what we're doing here is we, you know, we're loading our environment variables. You need a Twitter API key for this and an Open API key for this. Um, if you don't know where to get those, uh, you can go to uh, platform OpenAI, uh, and it should be like in your API keys. Uh, yeah, you can't see them. Uh, then same for like Twitter developers. You just go to the Twitter developer portal. It should be like the first, yeah just like right here uh, and then you just generate an API key for those um, but moving on uh, the way this works is with streamlit I had never really heard about streamlit until I watched some other YouTube videos using streamlit uh, in concert with Langchain uh, because it's just so easy to use all Python it basically lets you just make simple uh, front ends to GUIs to interact with your code so this is a streamlit GUI and it has two inputs I'm calling it Twitter cues is just for my personal use at the moment uh, but you just enter Twitter handles that you want to search, and it actually will tell you, most of these do tell you on Llama Hub what you need to put in, and it gives a quick description. Um, so I just put in the exact Twitter handle that I want, and then I ask it a question. So if we go to Twitter, um, and we go to like... Uh, I, I do, I, I like this guy a little bit, follow him. Uh, we will put that into this input. And then we can say like, what has Sahil said about AI in the past week? And then we find out. And now what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see that it is loading the documents uh, from from the Twitter document loader. We have a prompt, and the prompt does say, given the information, please answer the questions in a bullet point format with a, that should say a new line uh, typo. Um, and then we take the prompt and we use the question and answer prompt uh, wrapper from Llama index to format it correctly. Uh, then we just create an index uh, from the documents that we load from the Twitter loader. <clears throat> and then we just run the query with the text Q&A prompt. And as you can see, the output is here, but it's also going to be here. So he said AI is critical to have posted on his wall. AI is critical reminder to have posted on his wall. AI is a weird trend of cynicism around becoming a parent. AI is a common paranoia of highly successful people. Uh, let's just check what he said about AI. Um, I mean, or we could just ask another question. What does Sahil tweet about? Come on, baby. How will we get? Rejecting cynicism around being a parent, understanding the embracing anxiety dreams. Uh, the power of simplicity. The one in a row example, we just saw that. 
where was that one in a row principle so it is pulling stuff from twitter and yeah so i mean i haven't fine-tuned this with the prompt a lot or really explored any further i did this super quick but you know it might be nice if you're just like man who's that one person that i follow on twitter and i just have a question um i will post links to all the github repos of just like these starter packs um to get you started uh let's see i do want to show you the other ones that i was playing around with so the next one is the discord so for the discord one i will be honest right now for some reason i couldn't really figure out and i was asking chat gpt as well i even looked at the github issues and people were having some issues with the async which was solved by this line right here except those people were running scripts as well and not uh running streamlit there's something with streamlit i feel like uh if somebody knows let me know in the comments like super new to streamlit like barely looked at the docs just looked at how do i get this input so i could interact with uh llama index uh so i just have a just a script here um and this is my channel id for a discord channel that i already have hooked up um to this uh, old Discord bot that I have. So it just has the bot token uh, because you are going to need a bot token uh, for this loader. If you go to the Discord, the Discord loader description in Llama Hub, this loader loads conversations from Discord. These are specified channel IDs and we fetch conversations from those channel IDs. Uh, it says you, so you say import download loader, Discord reader, uh, Discord token, so you need your Discord bot token. Uh, if you don't know where to get that, Discord. Just type in like Discord developer. Jeez, this guy can't type. Uh, this The Discord developer portal, please don't show my key. Okay, yeah, so it has like your applications here. And so yeah, this is like the TLDR bot has like a bot token. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the loader. I, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can check this out again. I'll have links for Llama Hub, the docs, uh, the GitHub repos for when I upload these repositories and much more. So I just wanted to kind of show you uh, this Discord just kind of so you know, maybe later. Um, so yeah, we've got some people, you know, we're talking about like, yo, like I've been focused on building some face products, you know, we've got like, this guy's seen AI yet, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes. Uh, this is just for me to test some stuff. Um, but now I have that channel ID of general. Uh, and if you don't know how to get the channel ID, uh, you can get it right, you right click or like two finger click if you're on a Mac uh, pad. I'm sure it's the same for like other laptops. Copy ID, I'll get you the ID. Um, and then what you need is, you need <clears throat> to put in the query and you need channel IDs. And I just hard-coded the channel ID in here. Um, again, because I couldn't use the GUI uh, interface, otherwise I would have. Um, but yeah, so we just have the query and we run this entire thing. So uh, since this is just a script, Python 3 Discord, Discord Q&A.py. Uh, so this is going to, and we'll just pull this up because it's gonna print it out here. It's gonna print out the documents that it gets. You're gonna see, look at all that, bam, all those emojis. Uh, and the same prompt template I used for all these, just bullet points. Um, I, what I was really excited about by this was like actually the TLDR bot from Discord was something that I was trying to make, you know, uh, summaries for. And then I'm like, wow, we can already do this like in a couple lines pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, Marine asked for a summary uh, along the, and then, oh, there's also some, uh, some, uh, short stories that we put in here when we were testing summarization, but this is the Discord, <clears throat> the Discord loader. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is the PDF loader. I just called it the uh, like the pitch deck analyzer because I feel like I was thinking that you know investors might want to have something where you can upload a PDF and ask it questions like, and I know there's already something like chatpdf.com, you can chat with PDFs, but you know, maybe if I had more time and this was a bit more uh, fleshed out and catered towards, you know, investors and what they need, like their wants and needs, then you could, you know, have like, you know, like 
risk analysis. You could say, does this information actually match up? Are the numbers they're saying correct? Like, are these projections correct or any of that kind of stuff? Um, so we're just gonna real quick source in the slash activate. Okay, so now I am going to go over this really quick. Uh, for this, again, very similar process, very similar process. Um, it's essentially, you take a, the PDF reader, which you get from, again, Llama Hub has all of these, and I would highly recommend checking it out every day because every time I've come back here, I see at least five new things that I haven't seen before, um, which is always super exciting to see. So let's see, uh, P, 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 P. There it is. Okay, so loader extracts text from the local PDF file using Pi D F Pi PDF two, uh, Py Python package. Any non-text elements are ignored. So you know it's not going to be you know if for those of you that are keeping up with the GPT four announcement and there's limited access to the multimodal inputs where it can take in images. I'm sure that this is not going to be around for long. You definitely are probably going to be seeing things using just taking in images and a combination of image and text to be like, this is what the, the document is, and here's a picture of it. Now give us a, your best analysis of it. Uh, and it's probably going to be a bit more uh, of it, like an enriched experience for the user in terms of the information they can grok from it. Uh, but back to here, uh, <clears throat> again, this is just a deck from a friend that, or not even a friend, like someone we had like a long time ago sent it to me. This is like way, way past. Like, I don't think they're doing this anymore. Uh, I don't think they're going to really care if I ask questions about it. Like, oh my goodness. Um, and the same process, like, again, like, I, I guess like high level, like when you're using loaders, it's this is probably like the pattern you're going to be following. It's just like choosing the loader name, getting the loader, loading the data, whatever that data may be like whatever format it needs it in, and then providing your, uh, then like, you know, generating an index from the documents. Uh, and I'm not gonna get into the types of like index indices that you can use because there's also like vector store indexes like Pinecone where you can have more like persistent uh, embeddings of your vectors. And this is more of just like a one-off because it's making the embeddings, I believe right here just for these specific documents and making like your own local vector store. Uh, but then after that, you know, you index query, same thing. So hopefully that has gotten through to anyone that's watching, like this is the process by which you would use llama index for all these different kinds of loaders. Um, but now if we run streamlit, and again, if you, I'll also add the link to the Streamlit docs in the comments as well. So Streamlit run, let's name main.py, very creative. <clears throat> let's see, and same port because it's the same port. So, uh, okay. Um, so like I said, I just have the, the deck right now, just hard coded in here so we don't need to upload anything. So I'm just gonna ask it a question. Uh, what is this deck about? Find out. And as you see, it's going to do the same thing. We're loading the documents. Okay. Deck is about Holyverse platform aims to educate people on the importance of finance literacy by introducing a new platform to play and learn. What is the mission of Holyverse? Uh, tells you, like, what is the initiative? What's the roadmap? Wow. Uh, so this was like, you know, a pretty good summary. Uh, I know these numbers are correct. Like, you know, the amount of followers they had, all that stuff. Cause I remember looking at it and then checking their socials and they were definitely doing that. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much the main loaders that I've played around with so far with Llama Index. I am fairly new to Llama Index. I've been using LangChain uh, as like more more often than not. Um, but yeah, my final thoughts. I continuously get just more excited and also more scared every day with all the tools and frameworks making it easier and easier to just make very sick, sick things. Like this is just so simple and 
still like pretty powerful for the amount of effort. Like I literally did th all three of those in like an hour this morning. So for what that's worth, you know, it's pretty easy to pick up. And yeah, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, you can also DM me on Twitter, it's uh, at 0 Merkel. And that is it for this video. And I will be posting more about what I'm exploring and what I'm building and just keeping anyone up to date who's listening. So with that, I will end it there. Uh, there is no outro, so uh, goodbye.